Welcome, Welcome to the Sports Frenzy! Hi, and welcome to Sports Frenzy Recap Show. Sunday night edition, everyone. Welcome back. Yo, buddy. And as you see, Tim has the title belt again. I can't believe I won again. It's this two weeks. It's two weeks, Tim. Crazy. Ah, well, congratulations again, Tim. Oh, thanks, so, man. Well, you know, we're, we're this season of Sports Frenzy 2.0 is coming to an end here quickly. I think, what, we have about, about another month of it, so... It's been an incredibly busy year. It has, it oh, has. Who would have thought this would have taken off like it has, man? It's just That's been an true. incredibly amazing year. And, you know, we couldn't have done it without all you Frenzy heads out there. That's right. Thank you to everybody out there. Right, you and you and you and you and you and you in the and back. You, and don't forget you in the back. Oh yeah, can't forget you. Oh, and you guys, you guys over at the uh, the fire table there. Yep, you guys. Yep. Oh, and those at the other schools. Yep, you guys too. We, you over there. We love you all. Anyways, on to the show. What do we got, Jamie? What do we got? Well, hockey. Hockey. Oh yeah, still got some hockey. Still have it. The Phoenix Coyotes defeat the Nashville Predators one to nothing. The Washington Capitals beat the New York Rangers three to two. Uh, on to minor league base off. The Paw Tucked Red Sox defeat the Toledo Mud Hens five oh. to two. Bummer. The Baltimore Orioles defeat defeat the Boston Red Sox six to it. four. Nicely done. Thank you. Working on the it. The Cleveland Indians defeat the Texas Rangers six to three, and that was one of our three point bonuses. Three points. The Cincinnati Reds defeat the Pittsburgh. Our Pirates, six to one. The Washington Capitals defeat the Philadelphia Phillies, four to three. The L.A. Dodgers suffered a loss to the Chicago Cubs, five to four. Cubs are your winners. The Detroit Tigers defeat the Chicago White Sox. Five to four. Go Tigers. Go Tigers, that's right. The Atlanta Braves defeat the Colorado Rockies nine to eight. This is crazy. Uh, here. Arena football. Football. The two games we had that were on the sheet apparently weren't the right games for this week. Nope. So, Frenzy Heads, we're scratching those games off. Yep. Those two arena football games, throw them out the window. They did not exist this week. They did not. I was very confused. Well, we got to the bottom of it as we open the sports today. Yep, that is true. That is true. So, the San Antonio Spurs defeat the Utah Jazz 102-90. to NBA playoff. Mm -hmm. We have the Oklahoma Thunder defeating the one-time, now past champions, the Dallas Mavericks. That's right. One hundred and three to ninety-seven. Yep. So the Dallas Mavericks will not be repeating this year. The Thunder swept them four games. I bet in the Oklahoma they were probably sing singing the na 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 na. Goodbye. Probably. The LA Clippers. I could be the team to watch this year. I, I think they're favored. They are favored. The LA Clippers defeat the Memphis Grizzlies 87 to 86. Close one. My Indiana Pacers defeat the Orlando. 
Orlando Magic, 101 to 99, when it was in overtime. The Denver Nuggets defeat the L.A. Lakers 99-84. Oh. And that was a three-point bonus game. I forgot. Sorry. That's a three points. The 76ers defeat the Chicago Bulls 79-74. Ooh. The Boston Celtics defeat the Atlanta Hawks, 90 to 84 in overtime. Awesome. Yeah, that's right. And on to NASCAR. That's right. The new theme song for NASCAR brought to you by Rat Round and Round <laughs> and this week's uh, winner of the race was Brad Keselowski and hopefully we didn't butcher that name too much yes I'm so ticked I'm so ticked Kyle Busch won last week and this week he comes in second he couldn't win for if I if he would have won I would be winning the title belt this week. That would be around <laughs> my shoulder. Gosh darn you. You can't press on the accelerator a little harder? Now watch him push on the accelerator a little harder this week and not win. Yeah, I know. If week. that happens, if that happens, I'm throwing some stuff around. <laughs> I'll be grabbing the... If that happens, maybe we'll have to like switch up opposite and we'll be Maybe I'll go back to Tony Stewart if that happens. I don't know. There you go. Jeez. We'll have to find a new brotherhood of race car brothers. That's right. <laughs> well, too bad the uh, uh, Dale Earnhardt's still not around. You could have, I could take Earnhardt, and you could have Earnhardt Jr. There you go. A father-son combo. Uh, Anyways, let's get to some info. Well, we gotta watch this time thing, so we better get on to some. I know. So we don't have to take a take two. I know. Those are always entertaining. Oh boy, the Chicago Bulls suffered another loss. Joe oh, Joanne Kim Noah, I probably butchered that name horribly, I'm terribly sorry, is is out for uh Sunday's game. Today's game, uh game four, um after a Bradley, badly sprained ankle during Game 3 of the Bulls' loss to the uh, 76ers on Friday. Uh, not, what the, uh, not what they need right now. No, I think he's going to miss a few games because from what I saw, he came down pretty hard on that ankle. Um, so hopefully he bounces back here quick, but it's not looking good for the Bulls, though, that's for sure. So. Yeah, let's see, we got any stats on that yet, or? No, I haven't read anything on that, let's see. Let me see if we got any current, uh, yep, the, uh, 76ers defeated the Bulls again tonight, 89 to 82. And it looks like your Boston Celtics, Tim, are gonna beat the Hawks. Right now it's at the end of the third, 88 to 60 is the, is the score. Wow. And my oh wow, the the Knicks fought back today. They were facing elimination today, but the Knicks won today, uh, eighty nine to eighty seven. So they're three games to one right now. So, wow. Yep, they're not leaving quite yet, I guess. But nope. let's get to some info here. Uh, more info. Uh, horse racing, that is correct. You heard me. Horse racing. The Kentucky Derby. Who says we don't cover it all on the frenzy? This is true. Uh, uh, yesterday was the Kentucky Derby. Uh, and I'll have another. That's the name of the horse. I'll have another. Wins <laughs> the 138th Kentucky Derby. He was 15 to 1 odds. Uh, congrats to him and 
the trainers and everybody else. He was a real underdog. Uh, they were not expecting him to do very well, but he won the, the whole thing. So uh, a few weeks here, they'll have uh, the other uh, horse racing. He wasn't expected to do very well? No, he wasn't. He was not favored to do well. They were saying that he got the number like lane 19 or something like that and nobody's ever won from number 19 slot and he won so try to find out later that he had another something that <laughs> yeah <laughs> <It's just racing. laughs> uh, yeah a few weeks here there'll be the uh the, the other horse ra there's another horse race of the triple crown i can't think of what the name of it right now is but that's going to come up here in a few weeks and on to another sport that we I don't think we've ever covered before, Tim. Boxing. Ooh, boxing. That's right. Floyd Mayweather Jr. defeats Miguel Cato. Uh, and doing so, Floyd uh, Mayweather will receive a very small paycheck of $32 million. Uh, but enjoy your uh, paycheck there in jail, Mayweather. That's right, you heard me correctly, in jail. He will be spending three months, 90 days, in jail due to dom domestic abuse case involving his former girlfriend and their children. Nice. Yes, so... Maybe... Ew. Oh, boy. But, um, and then... On to baseball. Albert Poolhaus. Prior to today's game, his stats, and I want everybody to remember, he signed a 10-year, $240 million contract and is having a terrible season so far. Uh, prior to today's game, his batting average was 194, no home runs, and 5 RBIs uh, for 33 games, and that's 137 at bats. Wow, that's not good. But today he finally got his first home run as an Angel. Uh, let's see. So hopefully this will break him out of his streak there. So. But oh boy! Well, that's all I got for that, Tim. You got anything else? No, nope, I was just trying to see. I was looking at the computer right now to see if they had any more on the Bulls guy. See how many games he was actually going to be out for. Oh yes. But I'm not seeing anything on that. So we'll keep you posted on that, and maybe have some updates on that for the uh, next week's big show. Yes, that is correct. So, but I hope everybody has a great week, and we'll see you next for the picks episode. Oh yeah, have a good one, everyone. And